Chief Wiggum, I suggest you turn in your badge. You're fired because you're a disgraced policeman everywhere. Hey everyone, Keevan McKay writer Nathan here, and today I will be discussing the top 10 reasons why Police Chief Clancy Wiggum from the Simpsons franchise should be fired. I was inspired by Watch Mojo to do this. First up, number 10, he's incredibly lazy. In various episodes, Chief Wiggum has shown that he would rather sleep on the job instead of solving a missing persons case or a murder case. In Reality Bites, he attempts to have both Homer Simpson and Snake Jailbird arrested from, for waking him up for his nap, from his nap. There was also the time in Dog of Death, and where he is watching a lottery drawing. He gets an emergency phone call, but he ignores it, saying the number that the person called was 912. Yeah, right. Number 9. Going to buy smoothies instead of finding a runaway Lisa. Much like Homer Simpson, Chief Wiggum has extreme difficulty saying, in saying no to his appetite, but even the Simpson pat family patriarch wouldn't know better than to get something to drink rather than help find in finding their child. In the season 15 episode, Smart and Smarter, when Lisa runs away from home due to thinking that Maggie has become more smarter than her, has become smarter than her, Marge and Homer enlist the police's help in finding their daughter. However, Wiggum prioritizes getting smoothies first. Thankfully, Lisa is safe and sound, and she and Maggie help save for their family. And Wiggum displays a little more than hilarious incompetence. Number eight, he mistreats Lou. A great boss is meant to set a good example and encourage their workers to do the best that they can. That doesn't describe Chief Wiggum, however, as he regularly treats Sergeant Lou like more like a nuisance that he can't stand listening to. The worst part in Lou, the worst part is, Lou is usually in the right. In the episode "Brother from Another Series," he refuses to listen to Lou and Lisa's pleas, and even goes as far as to arrest an innocent sideshow Bob, despite the fact that it was actually side. Show Bob's brother Cecil who tried to blow up a dam. There was also the time in the Simpsons movie in where Anthony D'Amico, aka Fat Tony, is dumping a corpse into the river, and Wiggum and Co. arrive to arrest him until Fat Tony lies, saying that he is disposing of yard, tr yard trimmings. In any city besides Springfield, Lou would be, one, would be the one calling all the shots. Number seven, he medicated Ralph from the evidence locker. Chief Wiggum is defi definitely seems to love his, son, love his son Ralph, but a good loving father isn't always a good one. In the, epi in the season 16 episode, Midnight Rx, when Mr. Burns cuts off the employee prescription drug program, all other businesses in Springfield would follow suit. Chief Wiggum then resorts to medicating his son using medication from the evidence locker. The minute Ralph ingests the, medic the pills, his pupils dilate to an enormous size and he cl exclaims a classic Ralphism. Someone should call the police on this so-called quote-unquote policeman and even call CPS for good measure. Number six, he didn't help Apu and Nanjula in saving their kids. If you need help getting your children back, I suggest you look for someone else to help you because she figured is, is of no help at all. In the season 11 episode 8, Misbehaven, Apu and his wife Nanjula end up with their octopus children held hostage in a zoo for... A live entertainment show. However, when Apu and Manjula and Troy to enlist Chief Wiggum for help, they learned real quick that the zoo had bought him off. Bought him off with, with elephant-grade pe circus peanuts. The octopus are safe, uh, saved, but once again, we learned that the kittens and the viewers can see just how useless that Chief Wiggum really is. Number five. He didn't believe in liquor store robbery. It's good to have some skepticism, but not at the same level as Chief Wiggum. In the episode, Bart gets an elephant. Bart wins a fully grown adult elephant named Stampy, who is absolutely rowdy. When the pachyderm goes on a full-blown rampage, the police receive calls by the dozen about his destruction. However, Wiggum refuses to believe this. Like how he refused to believe that the liquor store robbery was, liquor store was, was being robbed at one point. I believe he read the book, the book, The Boy Who Cried Wolf, one too many times. Number four, telling Bart to jump. As a police officer, Wiggum is supposed to speak out against mistreatment and help you feel safe. However, we are proven wrong in the season 18 episode, The Boys of Bummer, and where Bart make, causes his little league baseball game to lose and he is branded as a pariah of the town. And it gets to the point where Bart climbs a water tower ready to jump to his death. Our our, a crowd forms to watch, including our ever so insensitive Chief Wiggum, who shouts jump through a bullhorn, even when everyone admits that they are no longer mad at Bart. Wow. Someone needs to sentence Wiggum to sensitivity training. 
number three, releasing Snake and other criminals from prison. All these other, all these reasons are listed off are listed off for more than worthy for Wiggum to get end up getting canned. But this reason is more than enough grounds for Wiggum himself to be arrested. In the season six episode, Lisa on Ice, when Bart and Lisa's hockey teams go up against each other, Bart's coach, which happens to be none other than Wiggum, tells Snake and the other convicts that he'll let them out to watch the game just as long as they can return to themselves. When Snake says no. Mega makes another offer. He won't let Snake and the others go just as long as they give up their criminal ways. Snake's answer is still no, but Wiggum still won't let it, won't hear it. As per usual, things end up in utter chaos, but Snake learns a little lesson about honest on honesty. Number two. He gunned down the high school basketball captain. In a segment for the Treehouse of Horror Six, and sending advertising statues for restaurants, car washes, and more come to life and start ransacking a Springfield. Wiggum quickly ends when putting Ends when exiting a big and tall clothing shop. However, Lou reveals that Wiggum just gunned down the captain of the school, high school basketball team, and and Wiggum re sheepishly reasons that the young man was turning into a monster. Yeah, that excuse won't hold up in any court. But in his defense, that is one fucking big, big high schooler. Up next, three dishonorable mentions. Dishonorable mention number one: He destroyed the church. In the episode Sky Police, when while walking around with a turbine jetpack, Wiggum falls off the jetpack and it goes haywire before smashing into the church and destroying it. Dishonorable mention number two: He stole money from the evidence locker for Ralph's birthday. <sighs> In the episode Simprovised, while trying to find something nice for his son Ralph's birthday party, Wiggum resorted to stealing ransom money from the evidence locker in order to buy a nice present for Ralph. Dishonorable mention number three. He didn't stop the Ogdenvillians from crossing the border. In the episode Coming to America, when the people of Springfield built a border to keep the people of Ogdenville away from Springfield, the people realized uh, that people have second thoughts and let them in. However, police chief Wiggum arrived with the police, and they decided to have a party to welcome their Ogdenvillian neighbors. Here it is, everyone. The number one reason why Wiggum should be fired. Number one, his corruption. Wiggum's version of the phrase protect and serve means protecting himself and serving his own needs. He'll misuse his power in numerous ways, as shown in the season 14 episode I Love Lisa, where Wiggum intentionally smashes one of Homer's taillights due to Lisa hurting Ralph's feelings. There was also the time in the season 6 episode The Springfield Connection, where Wiggum and his, and his fellow officers claim the counterfeit genes that Herbert. Herman has made as their own instead of arresting the man who made them. And let's not also forget in the episode Bart the Carney, when he tries to take a bribe from Homer and Bart, and later on in the episode, he refuses to help the Simpsons, Simpsons, Simpsons when the Carneys take ownership of the Simpson house. If there was any true justice in Springfield, Wiggum would be fu discharged from the police force and arrested. His wife would leave him and take Ralph with her, and Wiggum would be out on his ass in the streets. Next time, I will be discussing the top 10 well-deserved punishments in anime. This is Keelan Akai writer Nathan signing off. See you later, and have a good one.